Phelps, Bukowski. B-Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. Okay, so first time starting in the captain's office. It's obviously something important. I swear the more vent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. Keeps well, Phelps let's get straight into the intro. Hi guys, it's Pure sure Gamer, and today uh, we're playing L.A. Nora again. This game is highly addictive, so I'm like, well, I'm getting this series out. I'll probably get out again. And also, I've got Tom Clancy Wildlands. I'm just going to have a little go at the PvP for that. Now, have a bit of, a bit of fun on that. Oh, hey then. Let's pull out here. Okay, it didn't, da <coughs> didn't damage anything on that. That was kind of a good thing. Calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? So Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Browning week. Uh, or I wonder whether she survived. I guess I'll never know. Unless they mentioned it then, but I didn't really pick anything out that. Nothing alive. Oh well. Enough games, for guy out. They were. That kind of more gonna be doing a pick because he's just landing this break. From... Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Automotive. Yeah. Top notch. Let's see. Oh, deal with the Coombs Automotive. The owner Coombs. And he made person. He did. A facsimile for his records. Check with him. Okay. We're going to get to the. You're going down. You're kidding me? I'm getting a car. If everything is legit, where were you? I'd keep my the story. Government person or anything like that. He's. Ford and prove wrong. If he'd for his, you'd be. Are you finished? In a well. Of course. Not. Claims he bought the car. Very amusing. I remember it was green. The bill. My office. Walk this way. Well, can we that just shoot this guy? Two. So, I didn't know he was going to say that, and uh, great minds think alike. I say that. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont. That landed. Harrison's purchase receipt. Legit, at least. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Okay. Shoot. Uh, details. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Earl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing about the car. Not the usual type of price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp like a wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted ash, but I insist. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? Okay. Describe this Gene Archer. Maybe 25, 20. A little on the plump side, but not ugly. Again, I've gotten a reason what was your impression to believe he's lying. Kind of hairy somewhere, though. Cash. I had it for money, always paid by double days to in my gift horse. The high and mighty, if you want. Thanks for your help. Well, for all right, that's brilliant. You need to cagation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harris. Is he on him, son? Boy's about as sharp as a bully. Low fly. This guy. You have a pleasant day. Bet you, me, and him have the same thought. He's annoying. Did you double check all the paperwork? Who's it made out to? Gene Archer. I'll call. Back up, so this is fire. This is. I wonder what calls ambulance, Sam. Whether you can call ambulance on. Dispatch 1247. I help, Detective. Requesting an APB on sure. Age approximately on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Are there any mess? A James Bullock is being held at on suspicion of a possible link to the case. They're waiting on you. Got 
interrogate. Right, uh, locations. Right, let's go here. In fact, go station. Question this guy, see if we can get any information off the woman, maybe. Here's a chicken and egg. About the woman. Thank you. Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole. You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. Doesn't matter what day it is. Why do they always think they're comedians? But as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying are the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Yeah, good point. Probably wouldn't be wrong. By the way, the cars are actually pulling over. Is that all for once? We're trying to cause as least damage as we can because obviously we've been causing quite a bit of damage to the city. So, try and cause least damage on this case. Probably help us. Right. 13 Central Jail. Detectives, Belasco is pro paper. Thanks. Interrogation room. There he is. Uh, no, we can't get information. Get the if we do this right, who knows what Belasco might roll over on? James Belasco. might be the arresting cop. I want a lawyer. It's my car, and I got the proof right. Here. Take a look for yourself. The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Different name this time, though. Alright, stolen. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your you eye. Deal. Talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. Okay. The paperwork is normally a breeze. All right, okay. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never. You have. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Gene Archer. Okay, maybe he doesn't. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. I want to know about the ownership. That's there. wrong. Who do you get them from? I pick them up along with the car. Always from a different guy. Every time. You had yeah, a chance to very well in Alaska. See you in ten years when you get out. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Okay. All right. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. You know the broad isn't going to hang around, Phelps. Let's get to the Western Union office. Come on! Damn! We're on it. We 
the gun. Western Union. LAPD. Freeze. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? Look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Come on, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Open the whole operation because you were dumb to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Good things. I don't know for me. Only for hours. You're lying. James Belas. Remember Minch's name, Miss Archer? Oh, I. Well, I think you did, didn't you? I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know. Him. You aren't you and James. We. It's a real lot. Paperwork and every story. And don't try and sell the car. Yeah, that too. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Trying my patience here, Jean. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. I'm already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Bigelow's full of goons. Car Korean. 